this is David. Today I'm going to show you an application that's being developed by an organization called Wild Me. And the application is called the Wild Book application. It's using AI to identify individual animals and track the locations and the movements and the populations of those animals. And it's doing so because a lot of animals have distinct markings, almost like the fingerprints on a person, where we can use those markings to actually identify uh, a zebra by its stripes, or a leopard by its spots, or a whale shark by its spots, things like this. Uh, if you go to whaleshark.org, you can actually have an opportunity to report the fact that you saw a whale shark in a particular location on a particular date and add some videos and information about that whale shark or because this doesn't really scale very well Wild Me has developed this wild book application that will go out and scour the web, crawl the web, looking for pictures, looking for videos, and analyzing those pictures and videos to actually find animals that are, that are posted on social media sites. Now this is actually a, a demo of it, it's not the actual bot itself, but it'll give you an idea of how it works. Here's a video right here of a whale shark. You can see that it's in Spanish. It says something like swimming with uh, dominoes, I think, and the text is in Spanish. It's uploaded by a Spanish lady named Nuri uh, Gonzalez. And you can see it's a beautifully shot video of this whale shark with some textual description. There's a date in there. And it's just out there on some site somewhere. Well, the bot found that, and then it can process it. And so here's an example of the process actually running. You can see the major steps are up here, detecting language and translate, text analysis, video keyframes, so on. And some details are down here being logged. So as this thing goes through, you can see each step as it's complete, it's being marked down here. And details are showing it down here. And once it's done, let's walk through these steps. Detect language and translate. Notice that it discovered that it was in Spanish, and it was able to, if I click on this, you see there it is in Spanish, but if I click on it, it's able to translate it to English, because there are services in Azure that will allow us to translate languages. And if I go down here to text analysis and prediction, it picked out some keywords. So there's the word whale sharks is in there, so we know it's a whale shark, but even if it didn't have that, world's biggest fish would be a clue that this is actually a whale shark. And even some of the responses mention whale sharks in them. Extracting video keyframes is important because it's a lot easier to analyze individual frames. And once we have those frames, we have services that will actually detect the whale shark within each image and then extract text from the videos. There's a couple of frames at the very beginning that actually have some text. We translate those into English and then determine the where and the when. Now, the, the when is pretty easy. It was uploaded on September 26, 2017. And in the text here, it mentions that it was last month. But that's really about it. It doesn't really tell us where, where it was filmed. And so the bot can go one step further and it can it knows that it doesn't have information about the location. So it posted great video where did you see this whale shark in hopes that this the 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 that Nuria would come back and respond and tell us where she saw that video if, if we go to the next page here we can see we can process this is now that we have this these keyframes notice that it's processing it it finds an area with a good set of spots on it and these are unique to this particular one and then look in the database of pick images that already have of existing whale sharks and try to match one that's like that. And once it's all done, you can see the results down here. It looks like there's one called H019 that it was able to match at uh, a score of 520. It has a high confidence level. So a higher number here means that it's a higher confidence match. These, these spots here on this new video matched a fish in our database pretty highly. Uh, if I come down here, you'll notice that you know this match 66% of the triangles 
uh, were matched on here. Uh, these are all H019, so we've got really high correlation between this H019 whale shark in our database and this new video we found. There's other ones here, BZ010, that could be the match, but that's a much lower, only about 23% of those matched here. So it's probably, in all likelihood, this H019. We found a match in here. So if we go back to here, then what we can do is the bot can then analyze when Nuria comes back and actually responds to the message that we posted here. Glad you enjoyed it. I saw while diving in the east of Ila Contoy, Mexico. Then now we know the location. Before this was incomplete, now we have an idea of where it was and we add more information to our database. So we already know this, this shark existed in our database and now we can start tracking the migration of that shark. And that's what we've done right here. And then once they once Nuria has responded, then the bot can respond again. Well, gosh, thanks very much for that information. And by the way, you are part of a research project. You are helping to advance science right here. If you want to do more, we, we found your shark. It's H019. You can actually find information about that shark on this page right here. And H019 is a pretty good name, but actually uh, you can, if you adopt a shark, you can actually give it a name. In this case, they've given the name John Cena. <laughs> and uh, so this one has information and there's information about where it was spotted, uh, other sharks that are nearby, proximity, all sorts of information that's available in here in tabular form or in pictorial form. Uh, so this is just one of the projects that's sponsored by AI for Earth. If you want to know more about them, you can go to microsoft.com slash AI for Earth and learn more. And if you want to adopt your own shark, you can go to whale shark dot org and learn more about wildbook this is david thank you for watching <music>